Hello and welcome back. Our video today is sponsored by me. We've got beanies, shirts, stickers, patches, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Manatiops.myshopify.com. Link will be in the description down below. Anyways, let's get started. In October of 2020, North Korea, also known as the DPRK, unveiled their M2020 main battle tank. This thing looks like a T-72 with a bunch of extra crap piled on top of it. Let's dive into it and see if it's worth a damn. All right, starting from the tip, it looks like we've got a muzzle reference sensor, which is interesting because the only other T-series vehicle with a muzzle reference sensor is the T-90M. Moving back from that, we've got the bore evacuator, which extracts the spent gases from firing the main gun as soon as they uh, drop the breach. It doesn't go back into the crew compartment. That helps extract that fume, those fumes out of the main gun. Moving back to just left of the main gu gun mantlet, we've got a big opening there. It looks like it could be a coax hole for the 7.62 millimeter coax. Just up on top of the gun mantle to the left where the normal sights would be on a T-72. It looks like it might be some kind of night vision camera. And just after that, we're going to see what looks like a remote weapon station box for a AGS-30 grenade machine gun or some variant thereof. If we want to move to the tank commander's position, we can see... What are these doors? You don't miss much, do you? And those are too big to be torpedo tubes. There's what looks like a independent thermal viewer. I don't know if that thing rotates, but its line of sight is blocked by what might be the gunner sight. Why the gunner sight is over there and not in front of the gunner, who knows? Look on the right side of the turret. Uh, if you're if you're in the tank commander seat and you're looking to your right, there is a pop up launcher for basically two reverse engineered cornet missiles these are laser beam riders they're called the bullseye three bullseye three um, they've got a range of about five kilometers uh pretty gnarly nasty weapons no idea whether or not this thing is completely fake or whether those actually work but if they do work that's a pretty gnarly uh capability Looks like it might have an active protection system. You see the APS, what looks like the APS radars with some APS smoke grenade dischargers there on the bottom of the turret. No idea whether they're real or not. And if we move towards the rear of the turret, it looks like it's uh, what's got either a crosswind sensor or a, could be a, a fake jammer thing. Could be a functional jammer, who knows? Who even knows if this thing has a crosswind sensor? What the crosswind sensor does is it feeds meteorological data into the ballistic computer and allows you to take shots at distance uh, on the move. And it's also got smoke grenade dischargers in the back. And it looks like it's got slat armor on the back of it, which is can protect against anti-tank guided missile threats or just RPG threats in general. It's a really interesting contraption. Now, remember that North Korea is not on par with South Korea. South Korea is not the South Korea of the 1950s. For decades, the U.S. Army and multinational partnerships have trained and bolstered the South Korean military. And the South Korean military has grown exponentially from where it was to where it is today. And I wouldn't want to fight the South Korean Army. I've trained with them. They're very well trained. And uh, North Korea does not stand a chance in a ground war or an air war against uh, the South Koreans. The only advantage that South Korea, ha uh, North Korea has is they've got those, they've got Solon range of artillery and ballistic missiles, which is unfortunate, but there are assets that can counter that threat. Overall, back to the tank, I think this tank is a gigantic paper or steel tiger. It's just a, uh, it's a paper tiger. I don't think this thing is going to perform well. It's probably just a bunch of extra crap made to look cool on top of a tank to make somebody feel like they're cool. When in reality, this thing is uh, barely roadworthy. But the only real way to test it, if you if you think this thing is, is not a paper tiger, you think this is a legit tank, let's take it out to the range. Let's see it shoot. Let's see it shoot on the move. Let's see it shoot 
during the day. Let's see it shoot at night. Let's see it shoot under adverse conditions. Let's really put this thing through its paces. That's how you can really test a tank besides putting it in a two-way live fire scenario and seeing how it fares. Overall, remember, it's not the tank, it's the crew. Well, sometimes it's the tank. You know, if you're talking, you've got a Leopard 2A7 versus a T55. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's the tank, but it's also the crew. It's the audacity of that crew, the precision, the courage, and the audacity of that crew to fight and win the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned. We've got more content coming out. See you in the next one.